time complexities of sorting algorithms so this is very important table which you need to remember so you may be asked in many interviews as well so let us see in detail what are the time complexities of each and every algorithm so let us first divide algorithm and time complexity into two halves so within the time complexity we have best case average case and worst case now in the place of algorithm so let me write the first algorithm as selection sort so the best case of selection sort is order of n square the best case of selection sort is order of n square the average case is order of n square the worst case is order of n square so for selection sort best case average case and worst case all are or all are order of n square next bubble sort algorithm the best case is order of n the best case is order of n average case is order of n square worst case is order of n square so for bubble sort the best case is order of n and average and worst case are same that is order of n square next the third one insertion sort the best case of insertion sort is order of n and the average case is order of n square worst case is order of n square so if you can watch closely for bubble sort and insertion sort the time complexity is same the time complexity for bubble sort and insertion sort are same next the divide and conquer techniques merge sort and quick sort so let us see for merge sort the best case for merge sort is order of n log n and the average case is order of n log n worst case is order of n log n so for merge sort best case average case and worst case is order of n log n next for quick sort the best case is order of log n the average case is order of n log n and worst case is order of n square so if you can watch closely between merge sort and quick sort only the worst case time complexity is different that is in merge sort it is order of n log n whereas in quick sort it is order of n square so these are the time complexities of sorting algorithms now let us see what is the order of complexity the first one is order of 1 the time complexity of the function is considered as order of 1 if it does not contain loop comma recursion and call to any other non constant time function that is set of non recursive and non loop statements for example swap function has order of 1 time complexity a loop or recursion that runs a constant number a loop or recursion that runs a constant number of times is also considered as order of 1 for example a for loop where in which c is a constant that is for int i equal to 1 i less than or equal to c i plus plus so for all some of these expressions order of 1 so we have a order complexity here as order of 1 next order of n the time complexity of loop is considered as order of n if the loop variables is incremented or decremented by constant amount 
for example the following functions whatever we are going to see here it has order of n time complexity let me take here c is a positive integer constant for int i equal to 1 i less than or equal to n i plus equal to c which is nothing but i is equal to i plus c so here c is a positive integer constant for this sum of the order of one expressions so within this block we have sum of order of one expressions similarly in the reverse case for int i equal to n i greater than 0 i minus equal to c which means i is equal to i minus c within this block of statements we have some of the order of one expressions so here for this we have order of n time complexity next order of n square how we can say we can get order of n square the time complexity is nested loops is equal to the number of times the innermost statements is executed for example the following sample loop having order of n square time complexity that is if you have two for loops then iterating the internal innermost statements that we are going to get it as order of n square so we can also consider order of n to the power of c right for example for int i equal to 1 i is less than or equal to n i plus equal to c under this particular for loop we have one more nested for loop for int j equal to 1 j less than or equal to n j plus equal to c for sum of the order of one expressions now we are going to consider it in the reverse case for int i equal to n i greater than 0 i minus equal to c within this we have again one of the inner for loop for int j equal to i plus 1 j less than or equal to n j plus equal to c so under this we have some of the order of one expressions so these are the two case either one is for positive and other is for the reverse case so here the time complexities will be order of n square next order of log n so order of log n time complexity of a loop is considered as order of log n if the loop variable is divided or multiplied by a constant amount of number for example for int i equal to 1 i less than or equal to n i into equal to c which is nothing but i is equal to i into c for some order of one expressions within the block next let us see the division case for int i is equal to n i greater than 0 i divided by equal to c which is nothing but i is equal to i divided by c for some order of one expressions so this whenever we divide or multiply with a constant number then we are going to get the time complexity as order of log n so how to combine the time complexities of consecutive loops when there are consecutive loops we calculate time complexity as sum of time complexities of individual loops for example for int i equal to 1 i less than or equal to m i plus equal to c so here we have for some order of one expressions let me take the another loop for int i equal to 1 i less than or equal to n i plus equal to c for some expressions of order of 1 so there are two for loops now let me combine the time complexities of these two consecutive loops so how we need to com combine them is the time complexity of the above code is order of m for the for loop of the first one plus 
order of n for the for loop of the next one which is nothing but order of m plus n if m is double equal to n order of m plus n if m is double equal to n which means m value and n value are both are equal then we can combine their complexities the time complexity becomes order of 2n the time complexity between becomes order of 2n which is order of n so this is how we can combine the two com complexities of consecutive loops